These are called base 10 blocks, and what I want to talk to you about is the first grade skill of comparing two numbers. As we look at these base 10 blocks, you want to look at, with the, look at your student and make sure that they understand the base 10 blocks and what they mean. These base 10 blocks have names. Um, these are called units, and they have a value of 1. They are also um, used to model numbers that are in the ones place. These are called rods and we use those to model tens, the numbers that are in the tens place. They have a value of 10, so these two tens here together would be have a value of 20. So that's the first place you want to start with your student is making sure that they can first identify the numbers using the models of the base 10 blocks. We teach students how to draw these in school as well. So if you don't have base 10 blocks at home, teaching them to draw them very quickly, you can just model it with two tens and four units. You can just use dots for the units. So that's how your student can go ahead and model the numbers if you give them to them. Let's look at what we have here. And let's practice counting, make sure that we understand what we see. So we know here that we have one, two, three, four units and two rods. So we have two tens, four ones, which will give us uh, 24. If we come over here, we have three units, which would give us three ones. And we have one, two, three, four tens, which would give us a value of 40. 40 and three ones would give us the number 43. When we look at comparing numbers, if the students have the concept of the base 10 blocks down, they can start comparing the numbers and start talking about which is less and which is more. There's a lot of words to use interchangeably. You have greater than, less than, fewer, least, most, and those are words that you should use uh, with students. If we're looking at 24 and we're looking at 43, we need students to determine which number is larger. A common mistake that students will uh, do is just count all of the blocks and not recognizing the, uh, the different values that the tens and the ones have, which is why it's always important to start by identifying what number is there. The other one is to look at the ones and only use the ones to determine the value of the number, and that again shows not a strong concept of place value. So if we're looking at the number 24 and we're looking at the number 43, we're going to ask the student which one they think is more. Most students will have a conversation that they know if they look at the tens, two tens or 20 is less than four tens, which is 40. So now we get into the symbols. There are three symbols that we use when comparing numbers. We use less than, we use greater than, and we can also use equal to if the numbers are equal. I caution using any kind of story to explain the symbols only because sometimes uh, students still can't remember it even when you give it a story or talk about an alligator mouth. It is a symbol that has meaning just like a letter has meaning and a number has meaning. They need to memorize these symbols and understand what they mean just like they understand that the digit three actually means three ones or three of something. So if we look at this 43 is greater than 24, and it's important to teach the students to read just like they read on a page from left to right. So 43 is greater than 24. And that is how we compare two-digit numbers.